Hi, my name is David O'Connor. I am a product manager of Progress. This is a short video to accompany my blog on visualizations of Loadmaster WA, Syslog Data in Elasticsearch, Blogstash, and Kibana, the ELF stack. Let's start by looking at some Loadmaster WA Syslog outputs. This is a standard mod security Syslog output where we will use Logstash to extract fields to enable stunning visualizations in Kibana. Special thanks to the authors of the URLs shown for guidance on the Logstash configuration. From the mod security syslog outputs, several fields of interest can be extracted. These include the client IP, the virtual service IP, the mod security rule ID, rule severity, message, unique ID, and URI being addressed. First, we configure Logstash to accept syslog inputs via TCP or UDP on port 5140. Next, Let's look at the mapping of the mod security syslog message and the associated logstash configuration to extract details. For our first example, we extract the syslog priority value as per RFC 5424, then the ID field. Next, several transformations are performed to retrieve the client IP, and finally, the alert message placeholder for the remainder of the syslog message fields. From the alert message, we will extract the requisite fields to enable the visualization in Kibana. Shown here is the mod security rules file and rule ID extraction from the alert message. Finally, the parse data is sent to the cloud instance of the ELF stack as shown. Now, let's get the live demo up and running. We we'll configure the Loadmaster syslog output to point to the Logstash server on 10 35 56 24 port 5140. The Loadmaster WAF configuration is shown for the purposes of the demo. Note the virtual service IP of 10.35.56.50, which we will launch attacks against later in the video. All the request rules are enabled, and the anomaly scoring threshold set to 4, which is appropriately low enough to trigger blocking events for the tests. Let's introduce the Logstash configuration as previously discussed. The full details of this configuration are available in the corresponding blog to this video. Starting Logstash and logging into Elastic, we see the logs that will be generated and available. Click on Kibana and discover. We launch an attack against the Loadmaster Virtual Service IP and can see that this is blocked by the WAF. The corresponding Logstash output with the extracted fields is shown and finally the same log in the ELK stack. We can see this as the alert unique ID is the same in the Logstash window and in the ELK stack as shown. As we scroll in the Kibana view, we can see that it maps directly to the Logstash output. I launch a few more attacks to build sufficient data for the visualizations within Kibana. All of the attacks are variants on the same theme of attack vector. We can see this in the increased number of logs in Kibana. Now, I select the previously built Kemp WAF dashboard. This is a series of visualizations based on the information available and parsed together to a dashboard. As you can see, there is a table of information at the top with top 10 pie charts below. As we launch more attacks, we can refresh the dashboard and see the dashboard information update. We can now quickly build another table based on the information in the left hand nav. This is a table on the client IPs that are launching attacks. I'm sure that the more proficient Kibana users can make this a more stunning visualization. We can add this to the dashboard. Let's launch a few more attacks and see the numbers change again. I'll also launch an attack from a different client IP and we can see that reflected in the client IP table also. This was a short video showing the power of the visualization capabilities of the ELK stack with the Loadmaster WAF syslog events. Thank you for listening. Sloan, August Bannon.